All right, go ahead, bro. Okay, another uh, it's a nice thought from my forgotten society. And today I was thinking about someone special and very important to my life that's been there from day one. And my birthday was on the 21st, just past turned 33. And so far I've been incarcerated for 14 years. Yeah, crazy. And it's hard to stay positive, but with, you know, writing, storytelling, pain and all, you know, try to keep pushing forward. And it's hard to pray when there is no hope, but I guess that's what prayer is for, I guess. Now all I have is a few relatives here or there, like touch and go that I deal with, a couple friends, you know, who show love. But, but like outside of the family, I don't really, I don't know, like it's hard to connect with people anymore for me. And for me personally, Yo, and I lead this to my thoughts. Probably why it doesn't hurt me so bad to have this DBI across my neck. And when I say DBI, I mean death by incarceration because that's what it is. Don't have life, but the sentence carries death by incarceration. Thanks to the justice system of Delaware, which is crap, by the way. Wanted to throw that in there. But... I've never been afraid to stand alone. That never fazed me. I'm cool by walking on my own, doing my own thing. That doesn't bother me at all. Which is funny because I was always afraid of being forgotten. I never took the time to ask myself though, forgotten by who? Why are you afraid to be forgotten by who? And every time one name comes to mind throughout my entire life, Every bit of trouble, every time I got lost, every time I fucked up, this person would call to check on me. This person would come to see me just to see if I'm okay and make sure I ate, you know, all our meals at IHOP, you know, just her checking on me, it's her way. Phone calls, popping up out of nowhere, you know, like, this person, for every mistake stood by me, even when the world stood against me, this person was there. When they all turned on me and hated me, this person fought for me and loved me. I'm sorry it took this long for me to realize that I never have ever been alone because you wouldn't allow it. And I've never been lost because no matter where I go at, you'll find me. And I can always count on that. And so I dedicate everything that I accomplished, everything that I became, my morals and certain principles, my character that I built myself, the man that I became today, to my auntie, Joshua and Denise, my favorite person in the world, my one true love, so, you know, the first person that, you know, basically showed me what love was. I love you with everything in me. And you are the light and hope and inspiration and God and everything to me. I don't need to pray because my prayers have already been answered because you're in my life. So no matter what I go against, no matter what I face, I know I got you, and I'm pretty sure everyone out there has that someone special. And take time, appreciate them, grow with them, learn them, find out their history, man. We got a whole bunch of family members out there that we don't even know their history, what they went through, how they came up, why are they the way they are. Like, Don't wait until a person dies or disappears to like say how you feel or be there for them or to show any type of affection. Appreciate the ones you have while you got them. I'm big on that. And my person is my auntie. Love you so much. Love you very much. And this episode is dedicated to you. And for every other person going through what you're going through, trust me. 
look, look for that person because you got them in your life. Don't wait till you go through the worst parts of your life to realize if you got them. Sharing the good, man. Then there's always something good. This has been my twisted thoughts for my forgotten society. Thank you for your time.